In the Battle of Tabuk, three men stayed behind and failed in the expedition with the messenger of God without legitimate excuse. Kaab bin Malik is one of these three. Since jihad is an obligation for a Muslim and it's not permissible for him to stay behind without any legitimate excuse. Muslim must not stay behind when the Prophet called the believers for jihad except the one who has an excuse or he is one who is among the hypocrites. When the Messenger of Allah prepared for the Battle of Tabuk and the Muslims were prepared with him, Kaab bin Malik was not prepared and said to himself, I will join them. Even when they went out, he thought he would join them. But he didn't do it. Kaab became alone in Medina and was known as weak man among weeks who had not a legitimate excuse and when he heard that the messenger of Allah has returned from Tabuk, he panicked and thought to lie to avoid the wrath and discontent of the messenger of Allah. When the messenger of Allah was near Medina, Kaab's lie was vanished that he thought about and he knew that he shall be saved only with honesty and he knew that he shall be saved only with honesty and he intended to be honest with the messenger of Allah. When the messenger of Allah arrived at Medina, he started with the mosque and set for the people. Then came those who stayed behind from the jihad and they started to apologize and they swear upon God and the messenger accepted their apologies and asked forgiveness to them. And there were about 80 men. Then came Kaab and greeted the messenger. The prophet smiled with an anger and asked him, What made you to stay behind? Kaab said, O Messenger of Allah, if I said to others from the dwellers of Medina, I would have come out of your anger with an excuse. I swear to Allah, I don't have an excuse when stayed behind. The Messenger of Allah said, As for this honest reply, wait until Allah judge you. He went out and joined his family who blamed him for not presenting any excuse as the hypocrites lied to the Messenger of Allah, so that the Messenger of Allah prayed for his forgiveness like others. He asked his wife, Did anyone say what I have said? They told him two righteous men. They were Murara bin al-Rabi and Hilal bin Abi Umayyah. And Kaab was an example for them when he told the truth. After that, the Messenger of Allah forbade talking to the three men. People avoided them, despite they were beloveds. Because the command of the Messenger of Allah is above the love. Murara bin al-Rabi and Hilal bin Abi Umayyah obeyed the command, stayed at their houses and were crying until the whole extended earth became narrow for them. As well, it was became narrow for Kaab, who was roaming around the markets and no one there to talk to him, even his relatives. When he went for prayer in the mosque and greeted the Messenger of Allah and with hidden sight looked at the Messenger of Allah to see whether the Messenger of Allah responded to his greeting or not. But he didn't know. When forty nights passed, a Messenger from the Prophet ordered Kaab to forsake his wife. Kaab said to her, Join your family. The order for sake of women is also for his two friends. When fifty nights passed, Allah manifested his kindness and repentance. So Allah bestowed on Kaab after the blessing of Islam his blessing of being honest and sincere with the Messenger of Allah at that time. No one granted Allah's sincerity and honesty of speech such like Kaab bin Malik. The three have stayed behind the expedition which was in the time of heat and hardness. But despite the enormity of the sin, Allah forgave them because they were sincere and honest with themselves and with the messenger. They neither deceived him nor presented false excuses, but they were sincere and honest and confessed the reason for their stay behind. They repented and asked forgiveness and Allah accepted their repentance. لقد تاب الله على النبي والمهاجرين والأنصار الذين اتبعوه في ساعة العسرة 
من بعد ما كاد يزيغ قلوب فريق منهم ثم تاب عليهم ثم تاب عليهم إنه بهم رؤوف رحيم وعلى الثلاثة الذين خلفوا حتى إذا ضاقت عليهم الأرض بما رحبت وضاقت عليهم أنفسهم وظنوا أن لا ملجأ من الله إلا إليه ثم تاب عليهم ليتوبوا إن الله هو التواب الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وكونوا مع الصادقين 